The threat of severe weather is over in our area for tonight. Our Liam Collins is live in Thunder. He talked to emergency officials about the outcome of the storm. First though, Liam, how are roads where you are? Yes, the great, uh, Cindy, the rain is mostly gone from our area for tonight, but some have, we did see some heavy downpours earlier this evening. So you may just want to give yourself just a little bit of extra time if you need to leave the house tomorrow before the sun gets a chance to dry the roads up. But even though we didn't see as much activity from this system as we are preparing for, emergency officials say tornado season is just beginning and it's a good reminder to stay on top of the weather. Another system gone with little damage in its path. A big relief for people like Joyce Higgins, who left her house in Bradley County in fear of what could happen. If the wind came through there, it would really probably just lift the house right up. It's a feeling she knows well. She was here when tornadoes ripped through on Easter Sunday two years ago. So she went to go wait out the storm at one of Bradley County's storm shelters. That it was probably not necessary tonight, but we thought, what if this would be the knife that we would get caught in it? Uh, this area knows all too well, unfortunately, the, the dangerous power of, of, of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes and damaging wind. Bradley County Emergency Management spokesperson Adam Lewis says it's become part of this area's DNA. By the time you receive a, a, a tornado warning on your phone or on your, your, your radio or your television, uh, it may be too late. I had occasion to go into Homestead, Florida years ago when Hurricane Andrew devastated the area and there were no cell phone communications. Ray LaRue is an amateur radio operator. He's one of several volunteers who help to communicate needs in the event of an outage. If it's a long period of time that you're in the shelters, you provide food and, 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 and blankets and, and help, that sort of thing. When the sky opened up and tinted yellow, the storm had gone quietly and left little damage behind. Lewis says it's a reminder of what could come the next time. What we don't know is whether the next one will be the next time. Uh, we're certainly grateful that these other opportunities that we've had for severe weather haven't panned out. Now, during a tornado warning, the safest place to be is in a basement. If your house doesn't have a basement, you could you should get to the lowest, most center point of your home. That could be a hallway or a closet and stay far away from any windows. We're live in Thunder tonight. Liam Collins, Local 3.